Okay, Christina. So you have been unpregnant for seven days now? Yes. Time and it's actually almost his birthday. It is almost his birthday. Yes, so exactly seven days. Awesome. And you're having your first beer? Yes. How is that? It's amazing. It actually is amazing. It tastes like heaven. And this is also the farthest away you've been from your Ethan? Yes. The name of the That's baby? That's not as good. And you don't like that? I miss him. He's so cute. Can you, can you tell me about certain things you notice now that you are not pregnant that you enjoy? Um, beer. And I had some wine <laughs> the other night. Nice. I'm just kidding. Um, yes, bending over. It's awesome. easier? It's a lot easier. And I don't feel like I'm squashing my baby. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I was just telling the story of when I was stretching and I was envisioning the day I'll exercise. That's awesome. You're really thinking, excited about that? Thinking about it and being closer to it than like three months away. Yes. <laughs> so in bike shorts and underwear form. Nice. This is an amazing story. <laughs> I was feeding my child and I wanted to change the station on the radio so I reached really far to try to get it and I felt my arm stretch and it gave me a mental, emotional high knowing that I was going to work out soon. And nice. And feeling the burn. Awesome. Yeah. So those small are some, steps, small steps. Those are some of the major changes uh, in yeah. life. Yeah. You feel more agile? I do feel more agile. <laughs> <laughs> I bet so. A really long way. A little more bounce in your step? A little more bounce in my step. Yep, definitely. Awesome. Yep. Okay, so tell me some of the, some of the joys of being a mother. Okay. Well, the baby is really sweet and cute, and... He does something different all the time, so I never stop marveling at how cute and sweet and smart he is. And I already am starting to teach him things. Like what? I taught him about Santa. And <laughs> I taught him about... Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Sa Santa, I thought you were going to be bigger. Santa Claus! Bring some presents to the tree! <laughs> <laughs> and I taught him about animals. We point out animals and talk about those. I hope he loves animals. Do you hope he loves I animals? I know he will love animals because while I was pregnant, I saw so many animals, it was not even funny. They flocked to me, and they did things for us. Like squirrels, normally they're just around by themselves. They would like tackle each other and wrestle and do all this awesome stuff when we were watching. Wow. And we saw lots of baby ducks and we saw um, we saw a lot of amazing birds right when I was about to have him um, in Duke Gardens. And one of the, we saw some other amazing animals. Squirrels. I already said squirrels. Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know Pretty he's going to love it. Oh, we saw these awesome frogs. Just in our on our screen porch, those little like shiny green ones. We nice. saw a blue herring. We saw a blue herring. A falcon. Yep, a falcon. Nice. And we were repeating everything Pete said. It, anyway, I just know he's gonna love animals. And in his room, there's little animals everywhere. Just I don't see them. I noticed. That's yeah. where I sleep. Yep. <laughs> so he and everything he owns is, has animals on it. He's an animal. He's gonna love animals. Is there something? that you notice about him that you that surprises you? Ooh. Um, Something well, you weren't expecting. He's really serene. He's just, he's a really like thoughtful, serene kid. And I guess that surprises me because I feel like on the DeFilippo side, that's not always our overwhelming trait. No, I hardly ever think. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? Did you see that? Pete, how has life changed for you? Uh, a lot of taking care of Ethan. It's constant, <laughs> but as we learned last night, we actually, I think we're getting kind of attached to taking care of Ethan, so it's a good, it's a good change, but we're constantly parenting. Uh, I'm definitely busier. I think Christina's about the same. Busy. Look, Ethan, no hands. <laughs> but, uh, I have a lot more going on, like diapers and birds. Gotcha. And they say, what do they say? The the woman becomes a mom when she gets pregnant and the dad becomes a dad when the baby is actually born? Or did I just make that up? Did no, you hear anything like that's that? That's fair. That's pretty true. No matter how hard you try, it's different when you actually have the kid. 
And you, the woman does get the kid nine months earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the dad is fine with that. Yeah, I took those extra nine months. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. He did. he did. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He's smiling. Oh, absolutely. Me and my mom. Dad with the baby. Pete, are you ready to? Uh, you're waiting for Christina to go phase two with this baby. Yeah, it's it's a team adventure. Yeah. You can't go ahead of your your crew. Exactly. But um. What are your uh, expectations like, of phase two? I think my expectations is we're gonna stay calm. <laughs> That's number one. We're gonna stay pretty cute. <laughs> this is what winter feels like, baby. <laughs> Yeah. I can't wait, I'm halfway down on this here. P, you are screaming.